What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing some pond kayak fishing. Um, pretty pretty large size pond. All the times I've been here is pretty clear water. I don't know how it is today. It's been a while since I've been here. But just to give you a look. Pretty much this is the area where I'll be fishing at. So I only brought three rods with me. Uh, one's a new rod. Right here is a new crankbait rod. It's a toxic biohazard, medium heavy uh, 7 2 crankbait. I've used it a couple times already, bank fishing. Uh, I've caught a bass off of it. It's got a lot of, a lot of good bend to it for uh, ripping some crankbaits. But definitely want to try it out on a kayak here. And also just brought uh, my two spinning rods. So we want to see what we can get into. Stay tuned. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's going to be a windy one out here. Alright, so I'm going to start off with this medium light rod. Throw a little ball jig with a little Z-Man swim bait here. It's definitely going to be real windy. Probably like 10-12 mile hour winds. Good thing I brought an anchor. But we'll see if I need to use it or not. That's a decent one here too. Not bad at all. Look at that, nice. Good fight. Well, here we go, guys. First bass. Right there in the roof of the mouth. Wow. All right, guys. One last look at this guy. It's probably about maybe two pounds right here. Nice. Thanks, guy. Right. Little guy here. Got it good. All right, he choked this little thing. Nice. Greedy little fish. You know, this makes the first two bass I've caught back in this area. Usually I start catching fish right where this little passage opens up to the main area.
pounder here. Man, this hook just came out too. There we go, guys. Another one. All right, let's let this guy go. Thank you. You just swim that way. So far, so good, guys. Dang, I've only been here for maybe 20 minutes. It's pretty awesome. Just using a really light, small finesse setup. I think this uh, little ball jig right here weighs maybe 3 16 of an ounce or something like that. I don't know. Try something else here. Yeah. I'm hitting the bottom with this crank with the algae that's growing. That ain't good. Bath. There we go, guys. Another little one. Man, they're really liking this. It's throwing around a crankbait. I think I got hit once, but I'm not sure. Nice. Another little guy. I don't want you guys. Look at that little guy. All right, little man. Oh yeah, this is fun. I love fishing this medium light rod. Wow, this guy got it right near the boat here. Dang, he choked that. He attacked it with furious anger. Nice. All right, little man.
fifth too. Ooh, he's only got one eye. That's a nice one. Whew, off the lipless crankbait too, boys. Whew, man, he choked it. He got it sideways too. Wow, this is amazing, breaking this new rod in. Caught me a nice one. Yeah, he's bleeding. Yeah, that's a nice one here. It's probably like a four pounder maybe. Oh well, yeah, check that out. Nice. I love this uh, lipless crankbait here. Alright guys, I gotta see how much this girl weighs here. This is the biggest bass I've caught out of here. Alright, I'm thinking four pounds on a dot. We got 311 guys, 311. Close but no dice, about a quarter pound off. But still, very nice catch. All right, let's let this girl go. There it goes straight down into the depths. Nice. bass after this thing too. Easy there guy. I don't want you to hook me. See man, you gotta calm down. Alright little guy, thank you. Oh Oh! Pretty confident we'll get a few off of this. little man oh smacked his head right on the paddle man 
Little man, get big. That guy hit it as soon as it hit the water, too. He was about to jump. Where are the bigger ones? Keep on catching these little dinks. all right guys i hope you enjoyed this little session here i've been out here since maybe about 3 15 and it's 7 45 so about almost four and a half hours or so but had a lot of fun definitely caught well over uh 10 fish out here and i caught my biggest fish out of this little body of water which is 311. Uh, it was previously a 211 the first time i came here i caught that one off a black uh, texas rig worm i believe black and blue i can't remember one of those dark colors but this one was pretty cool off uh, this new favorite lipless crankbait that i uh, got back in the strike king box from monster bass box so uh that was pretty cool but yeah Mostly, uh, I think half the fish were caught off of um, a little ball jig with the white seaman swim bait, and then a few off the uh, lipless crankbait, and the rest were off of underspins. So, guys, again, hope you enjoyed it, and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, tight lines, and keep fishing. Later.